The Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu, represented by the DIG Operations, Abdul Majid Ali, said the budgetary allocation for the police is very poor. 35 billion compared to that of South Africa is nothing to write home about. The salaries of police is also very poor compared to other security agencies in the country. The salary of police has not to that one compared to other agencies. You can check, you check it out. Check it out. Police receive the least. Possible police receive less than 50,000. The chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Police Affairs, Ben Lokumo, said the public hearing which brought together stakeholders will not have come at a better time than now that the country is grappling with various security challenges. We will be balanced, we will be both fair, and above all, we will be reporting whatever are the solutions. The public hearing organized by the House of Representatives Committee on Police Affairs was declared open by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gajabia Miller. He said all hands must be on deck on this effort at repositioning the Nigerian police. It is said, sometimes he said, when you see on the street policemen dressed in tattered uniform. The Minister of Police Affairs, Megarit Ngati, said the Nigerian police is bedeviled with numerous challenges, among which is inadequate funding, poor welfare package, and allowances, just to mention a few. The Nigerian police force has over the years been faced with inadequate funding to meet the challenges. Uh, of the organization, such as the state of the art crime fighting equipment and gadgets, as well as logistics for aerial surveillance and the ground patrols, training of personnel, provision of decent accommodation, to the building and maintenance of police barracks across the country. Some of the stakeholders are the public hearing are of the opinion that a political will is needed if efforts towards repositioning the police is to yield any positive result. From the National Assembly, Abdul Yusuf, Liberty News.